Let's take a look at how to acquire and process a single image. I'll snap a single color image, convert it to gray level or Luma format, and then detect some edges. Here I have my webcam plugged into the USB port of my Rio. Have an empty project put together. Let's look at main. See both the blog diagram and the front panel at the same time. Look under vision and motion. Let me pin that down. And I'll begin with NI iMac DX. There's the main VI right there for acquiring a single image. I'm going to create a constant for session in. And this displays a list of all of the connected cameras to my Rio. Cam zero is the default. And then as you add more, they just go in ascending numbers, cam zero, cam one, etc. You can have multiple cameras all connected on your USB hub. I'm going to change this back to a constant. Now the snap primary output is image out. Come back to the front panel and create an image display. Look under vision. And I like the silver version right here. I'm going to make the display look a little bit more clean. I'm going to disable the ROI tools. ROI is region of interest. Holding down shift and then click and drag to rescale proportionally. Then I'm going to connect image out to this image indicator. And uh, trying to run this, well, it looks like we got a problem still. It says that we have a required input missing, which is image in. Let's go over here to Vision Utilities, Image Management, and use iMac Create. And this creates an image buffer, or uh, allocates some memory for the image. We'll need to give this a unique name. I like to use M0, M1, etc. You could use more creative names if you like. Then connect this image reference to image in on the snap VI. Save the changes. And let's see how we're doing. All right, there's the webcam looking at a subject. We see the information about the resolution. The fact that it's a 32-bit RGB image, that is 8 bits per color plane. Let's see how we can apply some processing to this. We come back to Vision Utilities, Color Utilities, and then iMac Extract Color Planes. We have a number of inputs here. Red, green, blue, Luma, etc. These are kind of multi-use inputs depending on the mode that you're using. I'm going to need to create an output image reference. And I'm going to wire that to the Luma input. Here's my color image source. And I want to extract the Luma output. And I need to connect that up to another image indicator. For the moment, I'll just go ahead and use the same image indicator. Next, I need to create a constant and then set this to hue, saturation, and luma. Let's see how we're doing. Again, it always takes just a few seconds for the webcam to get fired up and capture an image, but we see now that we've extracted the gray level image or the so-called Luma image, and this is ready for further processing. Looking under filters, and I'll pick the canny edge detector. I'll use my gray level image as the source. We have some filter parameters. We'll create a front panel control for this one. That way you can manipulate the, the controls and try rerunning and see what happens. 
I'll take my front panel image display and use that as the edge detector output. All right, it's finding lots and lots of edges. Let me try playing with the high threshold. Change that to 0 0.9. Now we can start to recognize the, the cup and some of the other line type edges in the image. Doing a multi-object select, do a shift, click down and drag to move that over maintaining the alignment, do a control shift click and drag to copy that image indicator. So let me rename these as webcam and then processed image. Put the webcam back on the original color output from the snap VI. All right, there's the side-by-side -side comparison. We see the original, and then we see the processed version. I'm going to take a quick timeout and tidy up this block diagram. And to finish things off, I want to take care of propagating the air cluster and getting that into simple air handler. So get all the airs, air clusters connected this way. Looking under Dialog and User Interface, there's a simple air handler. Join that to the air cluster. And as one last piece of housekeeping here, anytime that you create images with iMac Create, you want to at some point get back into image management and use the complementary iMac Dispose. It's important to free up the memory that was allocated by the iMac create. When this constant is set to true, iMac dispose will free up the memory from all previous calls to iMac create. With this technique then I free up the memory first, that is anything that might have been left over from previous VI, and then you're ready to go for this new VI to run. Let's just make sure this is still working. I've nudged the orientation of the camera just here a little bit. Everything looks good. There's the source image and there's the processed image.